I'm going to jump straightforwardly to several people confirming that the Jon Snow sequel is happening. If you want more details on how the rumor of the Jon Snow sequel emerged and its origins and who put it out there first, that's in my other video. I just put it out a couple of days ago. You can go there. I'm going to presuppose we're on the same page that the rumor's out there, but now it has added confirmation. Now that the rumor's out there, I will say something on the internet personalities and their role in all this, but that'll be towards the end of the video. But now let's just jump right into it that Amelia Clark and George R. R. Martin have confirmed at least various aspects of this rumor. So I'll go with Amelia first, then talk about George. So when Amelia was asked about this, yes, she confirmed that Kit had talked about this to her for a while, and it is his idea, and they have been considering this for a while. So this has really been in the making for about a year and a year and a half. It's not a new thing. It has been again, among HBO executives that Kit is talking to, that they were speaking to him about it and they were going back and forth. There apparently already are scripts. She also confirms she may not be a part of it, that she is through with Game of Thrones. She doesn't want to come back as Daenerys Targaryen. It's his thing. She supports him, but she doesn't want to be a part of it. So she's out in terms of Game of Thrones, but she wishes him well, and it seems like it does have a lot of interesting ideas from her talking with Kit. That's a pretty big confirmation, so it seems to have gone out of the space of rumors. It is a real thing. She's not officially tied to HBO. She is producing things, but not through them at the moment. But then George R. R. Martin, on his own, also came forward and said, yes, this is a real thing. It's not really a rumor. It is something they've been considering. The only reason he's spoken about the other things like Nymeria, Flea Bottom, Dunkin' Egg is because the information leaked. So he's kind of put in a situation he didn't want to lie. So he did confirm, yes, those projects are on board. Some will move forward. Some will not. And he could only update people on a few things and say, it's confidential. I can't speak more on this. But he is confirming, yes, the Jon Snow sequel is real. It has been talked about. And there are scripts at various points of preparation. So apparently it is being very, very seriously considered. Now, will it happen? Maybe not. This just means that it's been pitched. It's at a development phase at HBO. They have invested clearly a certain amount of time and energy. It was puzzling, however, that Kit, for whatever reason, himself has not confirmed, at least not a few days ago. Why? I guess they're still negotiating how much he's going to be paid, what the schedule will be like. I usually try not to concentrate on the personal lives of people, but Kit Harrington, it is well known, has suffered from alcoholism for several years. He's been struggling with that. I'm not going to really comment much more on that. Presumably that may be another reason that they have to work through that, whether he's in therapy or he's sick or how they're going to work that out with insurers. It's a lot of different factors. So we have two major confirmations from two different people, and George is tied directly to HBO. So if he says this is being seriously considered, it is being seriously considered. However, when I first reported on it, I was a little doubtful because, again, the person giving out the rumor was James Herbert. For those who don't know, he's notoriously a pro d and pro Benny Weiss journalist. He's often been found out to be lying or putting out very suspicious rumors. So I noted at that point, it's a rumor. It's coming from a very unreliable source. I probably gave too much credence to Dragon Demands. He's been, again, I think, he does really good work. He does a lot of good research, but he's very viciously anti Benioff and Weiss. And I think sometimes he goes a little too far. For the most part, he's very careful. He doesn't just put stuff out there. But I did think with that report in particular, he was being too dismissive for no reason. And I did accuse Talking Thrones and Daniel Green of going a little further than the evidence demanded. They were already putting out, it's happening. I'm excited. Here's what I would like to happen in the show. Here's my own ideas for the show. Etc. Etc. Here's what I fear, and I was just saying, we're being a little premature. We still really don't know it's even a real thing. This is all speculative. And to be fair, I would apologize to Talking Thrones because he did have some serious ideas for season nine. He also did port early on about Emilia Clark confirming the rumor. So I'd be a little apologetic to him. When Game of Thrones ended, a lot of them were burnt out from the decade-long grind, but now they've had three years off. Now they have seen what other roles they are being offered, and unfortunately for some of them, they will never work on something this big ever again. 
I think with Daniel Green, I'm a little bit more mixed because I've caught him several times when he does his fantasy news. He often speaks a little odd or wrongly. I'm going to do something on this with Amazon Rings of Power. It's not a major thing, but I just found that that didn't track with my understanding of Lord of the Rings. Again, it's not really whether we like or dislike the orc issue. It's just that it didn't match my own knowledge of the book. I could be wrong, but it seemed like he was speaking in error. He also said something about anime, which I thought did not make a lot of sense. Which is fine. Again, you're not always going to be accurate 100% of the time. But I do feel that he sometimes really jumps the gun on a lot of updates and just puts stuff out there. And you're like, he you should qualify. Well, guys, this is still a rumor. As a rumor, here's what I would like. But no, he often reports as fact. This is happening. And I'm like, I'm really excited. Or I don't like this. But I'm like, well, we don't even know if it's happening. Now, is Jon Snow going to happen? I think in all probability, given the state of Warner Brothers, that they want more content and that the DCEU is actually reviving itself. The Snyder Cut has been a big success. And there is a lot of hype for House of the Dragon. And Game of Thrones is one of their biggest brand names. It does stand to reason, given that Jon Snow is a fan favorite, they would be doing this. And so there is a very high likelihood it will happen. My own opinion is this might not be a good idea. I understand that there is an upside and downside. The upside is pretty substantive that we could cure a lot of problems from season eight and a lot of plot holes, a lot of the ridiculous retcons, a lot of the character assassinations might be reversed. That's good. The downside is this could be another Rise of Skywalker where they're just going to make an already confusing story way worse. It may have a lot of good spectacle with sword fights and, of course, sex scenes and political intrigue, but really the story isn't going to advance very much. It'll be a lot of interesting fan service, but it really won't go anywhere. It'll be a nice kind of chocolate sundae, if that's what you want. But I always thought Game of Thrones was a little bit more substantive. And in terms of substance, it may not mean anything. But we're at an early stage. We don't even know who the writers are, the directors are, what the scripts are. What is this exactly? Where is this exactly? Are they hooking this up to the season eight we saw? This is going to be its own thing. Is he still with Tormund? Is he up north? There's still tons of questions. So we're at an early stage, but it has moved past the rumor stage and it appears like this will be seriously considered. And given the state of other things that have worked and not worked with WB, more likely than not, it probably will be coming to us. But I will keep people posted and try to report rumor as rumor and fact as fact. Thank you.